Ghanaian journalist and diplomat Cabral Blay Amir has charged the Ghana Journalists Association to work towards preserving the autonomy of the media from the influence of government and other interest groups. Addressing the first public lecture to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the GJA in Kumase, Ambassador Cabral Blay Amir stressed the importance of insulating journalists and their respective organizations from undue political influence and external pressure, stressing on the need to protect journalists he nudged the GJA to focus on maintaining media independence from external influence. President acknowledged the strides made in enhancing freedom of speech and expression across various platforms since the advent of democracy in Ghana. Cabral Bli Amihie, however, cautioned against complacency and called upon stakeholders to remain vigilant in protecting these hard-won rights. In the last 32 years since the restoration of democracy, the media on the whole has managed to hold successive governments accountable and kept our democracy steady. In the first parliament of the Fourth Republic, which was dominated by one party, the NDC, with a single independent candidate, the late Honorable Hawa Ogede Yakubu, as a result of the boycott by the MPP, it took the critical and vigilant rule of private respect to hold the parliament and government in check. That was, when, that was the period when Kofi Commission and the Chronicle conducted aggressive and robust investigative journalism, which in today's era has been taken to greater heights by Manasseh Azuri Manasseh and the unsung Emmanuel Dobevi and other fine journalists. The advent of private radio and television has broadened citizen participation in Ghana's democracy and there is every proof that the electoral history of Ghana has benefited from media oversight. Talk, ho talk show hosts such as Kuku Sichado, one of Ghana's finest journalists, and Kamlo Dumo set very high standards in their time with Joy FM. I dare say that journalists of journalism has contributed so much to the development of Ghana and its democracy more than any other profession. Ghanaian journalists should have every reason to feel proud about their impact and contributions. Mr. Amihie implored the current administration of the Ghana Journalists Association to resist any temptations that might infringe upon the editorial independence of media establishments. The association must never slumber. To remain the voice of defense for press freedom, the GJ leadership must strive to maintain the independence of the association from government and other interest groups. I do not advocate adversarial stakeholders in the media landscape, but the optics do not do so good when independent professional bodies get too cool, closer, and cozy with interest groups interested by nature in manipulating and controlling media. The first in the series of public lectures by the GGA was held in partnership with the Department of Language and Communication Science at the KNUST. Head of Department, Dr. Victoria Faliki, appreciated the GGA for the partnership. This gathering, ladies and gentlemen, has availed our students the excellent opportunity to interact with seasoned journalists, and this will boost their confidence in their future practice. It has also given our lovely department, faculty, college, and the entire KNUS community a nice flavor of visibility. Vice President of the GGA, Linda Santia J, highlighted the significance of the public lecture. As we celebrate our 75th anniversary on the theme, 75 years of excellence in journalism, honoring the past, embracing the present, and shaping the future. To that end, our gathering here today is very special as we begin a series of public lectures planned to commemorate the importance of this milestone. For Joe News, Nala Bwachi Dankwe Yadu, Komasi.